I'm sitting here with Lynn and Oliver coming back from the World Championship in Seattle, Washington. How are we feeling after your weekend? Uh, I'm feeling great. Just being able to see Ruben and Jose do so well and uh, me with the topping record as well. Just couldn't be any happier. It was a great event. I'm glad you had a great experience, you know, going into it. You know, you joined a new team as well, Team Winac. Shout out them. Shout out. Uh, you know, we'll be, team. we'll be traveling all around the world this year. Like, we're going to Europe a couple times, Australia. You know how it is. Uh, but is there anything you want to say before we get into the video? Yes. Uh, the, I'm just going to do my shout outs now just to get them out of the way. So, shout out to my testing group for this event. Um, that being, of course, congratulations to Ruben and Jose and Chris and Hani, Pat, Adrian, and uh, shout outs to Ben and Anthony. Um, they're the best. They also helped during this whole process. Uh, shout out to Trung for all the help and shout out to Danny for the, uh, the oversleeves because they didn't have any more at the event. So he actually came in super clutch. Uh, shout out to anyone who messaged me and supported me this weekend. Uh, shout out to Nerds Kingdoms and Ghost Events and Gaming. Uh, shout out to everyone in Colorado. Shout out, shout outs to my family, my dad, Perry, Giovanni, and Tristan. And lastly, shout out to Team Moonax uh, for all the support this weekend. Um, and shout out to our sponsors, Dueling Guard, The Lost Zone, Puma, Under Armour, and Wooter. And uh, I just can't wait for this next season. And uh, before we get into this, anyone can do anything. What's one thing you want to tell the world today? Two things. One. Anyone can do anything. And two, to do anything, you have to do it with your friends. All right, so I did play Snake Guy. Uh, so I played three Diabell Star, and I played three Popular. Um, so for this event, Snake Guy Ash was of course limited, so I upped the copies of Popular. Uh, the one Snake Guy Ash, shout out to Ruben, and one Oak. And then I played the Snake Guy Diabell Star and the Flameberg. Um, pretty self-explanatory for all those. Uh, then the Fiendsmith package, I played three engraver and one Lurry and the one tracked. Um, this engine is of course broken and with Beatrice, it gets you to all of your snake eye cards. Uh, I played two bonfire, uh, the one wanted and we did play two original, um, we just wanted more starters and uh, slash extenders, and this one is just like really good because if you draw this in the field spell, you really get to everything and you play around a lot. And then uh, I did decide to play the one for one because it just specials either Lurry or any Snake Eye monster from my deck. Now onto the non-engine, I played the best one, three Imperm, and I did decide to main deck three Phantasmae. Uh, this card in testing was just always good to have. Um, it protects you, puts a body on board. Uh, it's a dragon for mag to search during the end phase, uh, which is really important whenever your opponent has solar rage or IP. Uh, then the next best one was three nib, three ash blossom, and three effect failure. And then I played the two bestials. Uh, I didn't want to play the third. Uh, I just didn't feel like uh, Baldrake was that good. Um, yeah, these are just the best ones. And if I ever wanted to search another dragon, I did just search Phantasmae a lot of the time. Uh, I played the one Ogre. Um, this card in testing really overperformed. Uh, hitting the Nightmare Pain, uh, Appalooza, IP, Solar Rage, just so many targets for this card. Uh, this card was really good. And then shout out to Ruben once more. I did play the one Talents. Uh, these cards are also just really good to draw off of Phantasmae. Uh, and that was the main deck. It was at 41. And on to the extra deck. Uh, the moon, and then what you turn her into. Sequence, uh, band card, and DSR. And one more band card. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss these two cards, not really. Not really, because we adapt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anima, SP, IP. Uh, Phoenix and Promethean. And then I played the Hita. And instead of main deck access code, I main deck dark because it was better into U Bell. And uh, it helps you climb up into Apo with your Phantasmae or any of your other dark bodies with Anima. Uh, Celine. 
and one more damn card. <laughs> the best man card. <laughs> That's the extra deck. And on to the side, uh, I played three Charmy and three Droll. Uh, we just decided that these were the best hand traps um, going into a Ubel format. Um, yeah. Just could not beat that deck when they went first without it. No. <laughs> uh, three Lullaby. This was really for the mirror. Uh, I didn't play any, unfortunately. But when I did play this in the past, this card carried me. And uh, with the deck being hit, it's really good in the mirror because you could just grab like Diabell, Snake Eye Ash, Pop. Uh, the one cross out, this card was just always a god card. Skill Drain, also a god card. And then I decided to play the Blue Tears package. Um, it's just the best to play through hand traps because if you hard draw on Graver, you can force the nib on your Beatrice or something. So then you can get to these. And uh, the last card I did end up playing the Axis Code. Um, just to go second and versus you Bell, it's really important to pop their uh, spells and traps. Uh, but yeah, that was the deck. Awesome, anything else you wanna say before we end the video? Uh, anyone can do anything and uh, I just can't wait for the season to start already. All right, let's get it.